guys and welcome to part 2 of this tutorial and I'm very sorry that I'm recording this right after the other part so I haven't seen if you have come with any suggestions or anything but um, yeah in this part I'm going to take care of the animation and the sprite rotation the animation is going to be pretty easy because well as you can see right here it's just a walking animation so what we're going to do is that every time we press the left key and he can move to the left we are going to set his image underscore index plus plus this pretty much just means that we are going to add one to his image index we could also write image index plus, uh, plus equals one but plus plus is just quicker so I'm going to write that and this means that he is pretty much going to go one picture ahead in his animation and um, normally he would just do that every frame but we have set image speed to zero so he doesn't this means that we can manually control when his animation is played so um, yeah we're going to set the image index plus plus and we're going to do the same thing down here and now this already should work as you can see right here yes it works and when he is bumping into a wall he it isn't animating so yeah that's pretty cool. Something else we also have to um, do is we have to make so that he can turn around because right now he's always facing the same direction. So we can do this very simply too um, by going under here and right up here when you press the left key we should do this even though he is hitting something he should still turn around. So I'm going to set this code above this code and I'm just going to say image x scale equals minus one the x scale is pretty much how big the sprite is um, on the horizontal axis or whatever so when it's equals to one it's 16 by 16 when it's equal to 0 0.5 it's um, it's 8 by 8 and when it's equal to 2 it's 32 by 32 uh, pixels but when we set it to minus one it reverses meaning that it's pretty much it's still 16 by 16 but it's 16 by 16 drawn in the opposite direction so this is very very useful for uh, what we are doing right here and on the keyboard check right we are going to set this to 1 but there is one flaw with this and I'm just going to show you what it is as you can see right here when we turn around his rotation point or whatever is right in the middle uh, or in the what should we say in the beginning of his head in the back of him the rotation point is right up here in the 0, 0 point and it shouldn't be we should make him rotate from the middle so that it seems more smooth and so that he doesn't glitch through the walls and we can do this extremely simply simply by opening up the picture and then pressing the center button now his rotation point has been set to the center of the sprite this means that now it works perfectly so yeah but maybe you also want another sprite while he's jumping maybe you want him to like take his arm up like mario or something <laughs> uh, so i'm just going to make a sprite called uh, i just pressed the wrong, wrong button right there um, and game makes Studio just glitched out uh, that wasn't great. Uh, I'm just going to quickly be back when I fix this. I just clicked the wrong. I fixed it. It's just Game Maker sometimes bugs out when you press the Add Existing Sprite button. I was just pr trying to press the Create Sprite button, and I'm just going to call this sprite SPR underscore player jump because he's going to jump, and it's going to be a 16 by 16 sprite. And I'm just going to copy the player sprite because it has to look similar to him. So I just pressed Ctrl C and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm going to go in here and edit him. And when he's jumping, he can. I guess he can like take his legs up or something. Yeah, this looks really, really stupid. I know. But I just have to come up with something. So he does this every time he jumps and it's very important that you click the center button again 
and you go in here and click full image because as you can see the sprite isn't filling the entire image but the collision should still think that it's the entire image so that the collision doesn't bug out so go in here and press full image and center him and when you have done this you have to go in here and we can add something up here just called sprite control or something and uh, what this is going to do is simply control the sprite so this is just a comment and as you probably remember from the, from the last part you don't have to write this it's not doing anything it's just so that we better can remember what we're doing yeah so I'm just gonna write sprite control and um, we can say if jumped is equals true then we're going to set the sprite index to sprite player jump yeah. And if it's equals to false, we're going to set it to player, just normal player. So, you know, you can probably guess what this is doing. If the variable we call jumped is equals to true, it's going to set his sprite index to player jump. And if it's equals to false, it's going to set it to the normal player. And the sprite image is a yeah, sprite index is pretty much just the picture or whatever. So let's try it out and see how it looks. And as you can see it works perfectly. When he jumps he always has that picture where he takes his legs up or whatever. It's maybe a bit difficult to see, I'm just going to make it a bit more obvious by maybe like when he jumps he can uh, Maybe he can like turn around and face towards the camera over there, so you can see his mm, his eyes and his mouth. Now I think it should be pretty obvious when he jumps. Um, yeah. Now you can pretty much now you can see it, I think. And right now, he is does not have his jump animation when he's falling. We could do this, but I really do not want him to have it. Um, if you want to see how you make him have his jump animation while he's falling, just write it in the comments. But I also think you can figure it out yourself. Um, that's this for um, this episode, I think. I know it's been kind of short, but really I don't think there's much else to show on this topic. So, that was it. See you next episode. Bye, guys. And it just minimized this for some reason. Bye, guys.